The Law Enforcement Innovation Center provides a 10-week in-resident National Forensics Academy where we train criminal investigators in all aspects of crime scene investigation from how you protect a crime scene, how you identify physical evidence at a scene, how you preserve and collect it, uh, from photography, fingerprinting, bullet trajectory, blood stain analysis, uh, arson investigation, skeletal remain recovery, uh, all aspects of criminal crime scene investigations. Uh, we train investigators from all over the country, uh, 48 states so far, uh, from small agencies uh, to large agencies, from state agencies uh, to local jurisdictions. Uh, the criminals are also smarter. They're very attuned as to what type of uh, technology or expertise law enforcement has to try to solve crimes. Uh, they try to uh, hide evidence or try to keep uh, the evidence from being collected. Uh, shows like Forensic Files or Court TV that uh, demonstrate the type of physical evidence collection processes or analysis uh, makes it very easy for a suspect to be attuned as to what to avoid leaving at a scene. All right, this is our uh, classroom. It seats 24 attendees from all over the country. Uh, on the walls you'll see uh, framework, uh, patches representing the different agencies as they've come through. We've trained 26 different sessions since 2001. All right, this is our photography room. Uh, this is where the attendees come in and they capture the evidence that they've been able to get, whether it's fingerprint or serial number restoration, uh, photographically for evidence in court. Uh, there's copy stands, there's video cameras. The walls are painted black to reduce glare. We use alternate light sources and different wavelengths to, to bring out those type of uh, evidence. All right, this is our evidence uh, room. This is where we do blood stain analysis, bullet trajectory, work, we do mock crime scenes. Uh, because we utilize uh, human blood in our training, uh, the walls, the floor, and the ceiling all are epoxy driven to allow us freezing uh, cleaning. Uh, the blood that we use is transfusable. We, we acquire locally uh, for our training. But uh, this room allows us a lot of flexibility as far as interior mock crime scene investigations. All right, this is our laboratory. Uh, this is where the attendees come in and process uh, fingerprint evidence, they also do bone analysis, they do serial number restoration in here. Uh, the building, or this office part of the building, has all of our chemicals stored uh, for those type of work. We have super glue chambers, we have fuming hoods to eliminate uh, chemical vapors while they're working with those. Even though we provide personal protective equipment, uh, we want to make sure that they're as safe as possible. We also make this uh, facility available to local law enforcement that may not have this type of uh, laboratory facilities at their local law enforcement agency.